All right. So my sister's in town. What is this right here? This five dollars, right? Yeah. That's five dollars. I'm gonna I'm take this five dollars. This is your five dollars, okay? I can have this. Can I have this? You can have it. All right. It's an investment. It's an investment. So what I'm gonna do is whatever I make with this, I'm gonna split with you, okay? All right. All right. Cool. Make All right. Make you money. Make you money. That's what she said. All right. My my sister's in town. You guys have seen that, right? And and legit, legit. I seen the five dollars on the table. I was like, hey. I'm going to take your $5. I'm going to make some money with it. So today is going to be a $5 challenge, family, okay? Today is going to be a $5 challenge, which means I'm going to try to flip this. And I don't want to fail on this one because I got to just do this because my sister's here. But today is a $5 challenge, guys. What I'm going to do is use this $5 for Amazon FBA Retail Arbitrage. I'm going to go to the Goodwill. That's the first place I'm going to go. Hopefully, I can just find something there. If I can't, then I'll go somewhere else. But I'm going to try the Goodwill first because it seems to work for me. So I'm going to go to the Goodwill. I'm going to use this $5. And I'm going to see. I'm going to see if we can make some profits. Make sure you hit that subscribe. Make sure you hit the bell to get notified. $5 challenge. Let's go. Hit the bell to get notified for the future uploads, guys. The fam is getting strong. We're almost at 13,000 subscribers. Wow, like you guys are just freaking awesome. Let's go. Uh -huh. I like my money, crazy man out of control. Man out of control. Only real thing I count on, count my dough. Uh -huh. count my dough. No breaks, no stopping, no talking, nobody knows. Nobody, nobody, nobody. Side, we ride, we fly way up, no brakes. No brakes. No brakes. No brakes. No brakes. No brakes. All right, so I'm a little nervous about this challenge. I'm on the way to the Goodwill right now, and I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous because I mean, you not every day you find stuff, and then even then, the budget is five bucks. Now, this is very possible. This is the only reason why I would even challenge myself to do a challenge like this, because I found crazy profits even under $5. I think my record was spending $2.50 on something that made me close to $200 in profits. $2.50 and close to 200 in profits. Yes, I said that. That, And I found that at a thrift store. It was a, uh, I forget what it was. It, it was uh, last, sometime last year. But that, that has been my all time record in ever, like uh, ROI wise. So I know this is very possible. It just doesn't happen every day. So I don't know what the Goodwill is going to look like today or any of the stores I go to. I'm going to hit. Uh, hopefully I can just do it right here on th at this store but if I don't then I'm gonna hit another store another location you know but 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 let's put good vibes in the universe open up for me let me win this challenge let me prove my sister what it is she already knows what it is that's why she gave me her five dollars but my sister tight like look she's gonna get mad she's gonna get mad when she watches my sister is tight like five dollars she's like yo what you doing with my five dollars but she knows what i do so she already has the faith you know what i'm saying so let's go we're on our way there i gotta stop filming because there's cops watching me and, and my car is like a big target a big yellow banana on the road so they love to follow me anyways all right so guys what i'm about to do is i'm about to see you guys at the goodwill peace five bucks let's go five dollars that's that's the uh we're not going over that we're not going over that and if i must get change if if i must get change i have to find it but i got chains all over my car so let's go what's the color of the day green Everything green is half off. Let's look for green. The George Foreman, right, right? Wait, hold up, hold up. This is 85,000 Kitchen, good reviews, used, 10.99. So if we type it, we got it for what? 6.99, which is half off. Half off is 6.99, that's seven bucks, so that's 350. So let's put in 350, 350. So the profits would be seven dollars and forty nine cents. All right. So I spend three fifty to make seven forty nine. Also, I found this s'mores machine, but this one's kind of robbing us. The, the s'mores machine is only gonna make us a dollar in profit. We're spending four bucks, and it's gonna make me a dollar and thirty. So I'm probably gonna put that back um, because just the the size and weight to that compared to the profits is not worth it for me. So, but this one definitely is. $3.50 to make $7.49 and it doesn't weigh 
weighs a feather anyways so that is good I already got one item but I want to find something better hopefully I can find something better so but if I don't we already made some money and only spent three dollars and fifty cents let's go let's keep looking all right fam I was in there a little longer than I wanted to be about 15 minutes 15 minutes or so still still kind of quick but <laughs> I found some items. So I ended up putting the George Foreman back because it wasn't the right model. I was I was going so fast. It was like, it was almost the exact same model, but it wasn't quite the exact same. So you don't want to do that uh, because, you know, you, you may get a return. Even though it looks the same, almost the same, it was like small little qualities that made it different. Like, I think like the back of it was like, designed a little bit differently like I could have probably still sent it but you just don't want to do that you want to send the exact model um, you know just to not get any flags on your account I didn't spend all the money so I didn't spend it all all right so I'm gonna show you guys what I got right we're gonna start off with let's start off with this guy right here so I got this guy right here for two bucks two bucks all right I got it for two bucks and if you don't see good BSR um, I got to double check the BSR to make sure it's not a subcategory when I get home but for now it is pretty good um, and I'm gonna make five dollars and forty cents profit five dollars and forty cents profit so I spent two dollars and I'm gonna make five forty in profit right there right so that's one item right remember what the color of the day was it was green and I found this guy, right? It's not crazy profits, but I got it for 50 cents because green was the half, the color half off. We check this out. Good BSR, 100 plus reviews, great. And look what it's going for the profits. So my profits on this one is $2.50. So you tell me, fam, fam, tell me where you can put in 50 cents and bring back 250. If you can put in 50 cents and bring back 250, that's over 100% ROI. And it's over 100% ROI on the other one. I put in $2. I put in $2 and I'm bringing back in profits 540. So all together, I'm making $7.40 on that one. And all together, I'm making three bucks on this one. But I only put 50 cents in and I'm bringing back 250 in profits. It may seem like little, little things like, oh, that's a little bit of money. But guys, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, this stuff adds up, especially now. Imagine I'm just doing budgets, too. I'm just doing budgets. I honestly, I'm not going to lie to you guys. There was an item in there that I could have bought and I didn't buy. And I'm probably going to come back tomorrow to buy. I looked at it and I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to buy it. I'm going to stay true to my word. Buy it all a budget. But I'm definitely going to come back and buy it tomorrow. So stay tuned for that video. I'm doing this with budgets, all right? This is the only reason why I'm walking away with small profits like this because I would have bought that item that I, the other item I found, and it was $36 in profits. So, yeah, I, I left, I let it be though. I let it be. Hopefully, it's still there tomorrow, and I'm gonna get it tomorrow. Um, this is just to show you guys, just to prove a point that you can start with almost any amount of money. It doesn't matter. No, there's no excuse. Just just get in and get it done guys like you can literally go out here and start off with five bucks guys I didn't even spend the whole five I spent two dollars and fifty cents you guys will spend two dollars and fifty cents faster anywhere else like you can go to you can go to a grocery store you can go to a corner store and spend two dollars no as a matter of fact the day and age we live in today I don't even know what is two dollars and fifty cents like that doesn't get you anything but look what I just did with two dollars and fifty cents it made me more money imagine imagine if you had a machine imagine if you had a machine that you could put in two dollars and receive seven you put in two and you receive seven you put in two and you receive seven you put in two and you receive seven over and over and over again imagine if you had a machine that did that well guess what this is that machine this is that machine i only spent two dollars and fifty cents and i'm making seven dollars and ninety cents in profit it may seem like a little bit of money but listen i don't know look you can blow two dollars and fifty cents very very easily like two dollars and fifty cents can be gone or it can make you <laughs> it can make you some money 
Let's go. Yes. <laughs> uh -huh. I like my money, crazy man out of control. Man out of control. Only real thing I count on, count my dough. Count my dough. No breaks, no stopping, no talking, nobody knows. Nobody knows.